So guys, welcome back to uh, House of Fun, where well, it's always fun. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've got the scooter out again. I did not think this was going to happen so soon, but I have got a boat. Uh, a little icy boat. I uh, made it myself, but this was the motor for it. So I thought, why not? It looks exactly like the old one. I know it does it pretty much is just a copy of it the old one was 3200 kb this is 3900 kb it is a little bit faster but i'm not bothered about that i'm just happy that i have a new motor but obviously the, all this snapped off the the old gubbins is right here and like oh. this one's painted up slightly but you you, you know you tell it's in pretty good shape that end that's not what a gear did to it. That's what I did to it, like an idiot. But I was in a rush to build it and just wanted to get it done. But before I put it in, also is in a rush to build it. That's the old pin that sits in the bearing right here and holds the back end of the motor, which is probably what allowed the shaft to snap last time. And just fling the gear at my friend who was sat in the chair up at the end at the time but I needed a new one because the old one wasn't long enough after changes and everything else after it broke but oh that is the new one so it's a hell of a lot more in the middle and a damn sight better so we will slam all this back together quickly that one goes back into the bearing. These two little washes go in. And then we get hand on that. Let's get the eight mil. Be there in a sec, buddy. Be there in a sec, buddy. Little man is going to go to bed in a minute, so I will go in and say goodnight to him. But he's alright for a second. I'm basically giving him extra time right now, so I can't see him ever moaning or that. Yep, there you go, mate. Extra right, time. No, no, it was an accident. I dropped it like a fool. Fool. Alright. Yeah, probably just going to go in and watch a film in a bit and then uh, chill out. I'm making mistakes and I'm tired. I, uh, yeah. Didn't sleep right for the last couple of nights, but never mind. It's not you guys' problem, it's mine. So I'll shut up about that and I will uh, keep building. Right. Happy days, this. My chain is a little bit loose. I'm not gonna lie. If anyone ever said, "Oh, your chain's looking all right," yeah, it's loose. And what I will do, it should be fine. Yeah, probably got the tendency to fling itself off a bit more, but I don't see that actually. I can go with that too soon. That gear is knocked on there quite hard, and it's not pulling that way anymore. I put um. When I keep saying C clip. I've got all different sizes. Wait. We're an entire set. So yeah, we're uh, probably going to end up using one of them on the end of the shaft, this side, just to stop it from going that way. A little piece of bar in, I said before, and we'll cut a groove and slip one of them over. And it should hold it all. But that looks like it's back together for the moment. And um, I will try and take this thing for a ride. I'm going to test it out like this in a sec, but I've got to say goodnight to the boys. Oh, I will be back in a moment. So, I'm back. The boys are now going on up to bed. Um, uh, I wasn't going to, but we'll, we'll test this out now and see what's going on with it. I don't know if you can see. You can't really from there, but we do. 
have the bars all folded down at the minute, so yeah, let me over just prop that back up in a minute and uh, crack on. But that's on, this is on, we're still connected to that. Let's get rid of that, I don't need that in the way. Went in the wrong place and had it on. Okay, that's a lot louder. Different speed control unit, different motor, same batteries, same receiver, transmitter. Okay. Yeah, it seems like that might be back. I'm not pushing it too much because we are on about a really small motor shaft here trying to pull me down the road. But there is sort of redundancy systems within the, the, the speed control that if it feels like it's pulling too much torque, it will sort of realise that the motor's, the car's crashed, the motor's jammed on something, and it hopefully should cut that off and save the motor. Fingers crossed, I have no idea. But I, I kind of guess that's what was happening with the um, brushless system. Because I had, but it worked for a little bit. You went down the road, and it it basically just uh, cuts out, and you got nothing, just absolutely nothing. So I will see about putting this up. Oh, it's bloody, it's dark now. So I I'll probably have to test this in the morning. But this is me. I am not putting four cell in it. It does not, it only states free cell on there, but it's, it's a 60 amp. It's a 60 amp. I have got another speed control unit in the house, which is 4S compatible. It's 120 amp or something. So I might be putting that in it. The trouble is it's not programmed at the minute. I do have the programming card, but I do not remember the positions for the programming and quite a lot of cards. Are, um, Speed controls can be different, so that might be a bit problematic, but I'll figure that one out and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Oh, oh, just a quick update for the Lozzy. I have lost its end. No, no, where have no, it's there. I have it. So, but we have these two ends, we have this bar. It's reasonably bigger, but then again, this bar probably started off with something like this and it was turned down to that. So, um, like I say, it's only going on the back, it should be fine. We'll uh, try and chop it down a little bit and stick some thread on it and uh, see what happens. But hopefully, that should be the fix for that. So, do it next time, guys. I uh, see you later. Hi, guys, this is uh, the test of the scooter. This is going to be. Yeah, first ride, so might be a bit chippy choppy because the car's coming up and down and having to cut them out, but like this one coming, but we'll forget out. The battery. I think we will go and get the 3S and we'll work a 3S in it. The motor's not too hot yet. So, we'll try with a free ass and see what happens. She took me down the road to begin with and then decided uh, that I was a bit too fat. So, I'll bring you guys back on in two seconds. So, oh, we're back again, guys. I will quickly swap over the battery. Oh, it's not too bad, it's not too warm. I will be sort of stepping on this battery a bit, but uh, it'll be fine once the covers on and stuff when it's all pinned up, it should be great. But just move it back to the road a bit more, and uh, we'll go for try number two of a bigger battery.
lost power. Not enough battery, or did you go free ash? Did you go free ash on it? Yeah, she drives so hard. Ah, I think I killed it. I think I killed it. Yeah. Yeah, right, so. So guys, as we can clearly see, it sort of does work, but this thing, the motor is too small, it doesn't have the stamina to keep it going. Um, I think the idea would probably be to add more, or bigger motor. So, screw it. I'll come back with you next time. Until then, I'm out. See you guys later. It's a fun. So I actually did take this thing out for another little rip. Uh, yeah, um, I killed that in the last video. Well, in the last video, uh, uh, a minute ago, I killed that. I died. I put free wind to it, and I went up and down, and the motor and all the gearing, and it's. There's a lot of reduction going on. Oh, it's touching the wood, hang on. There we go. There's... Stop. Being a belly aker. Right, this thing's trying to fall off on me. There's something underneath it, clearly. Yeah, there is, roll the tape. Right, there. So, I will try and get that out without getting my fingers. Oh no, I've got my fingers. Oh, I got it. There we go. Right, more stable. So, as you can see, wheel turns, motor spins like mad. Right, so, but we got. Um, I can play with the gears, I can change the gear in somewhat. I thought I was going to have to anyway, but I'm not going to. I'm playing with the motor. Um, this got really hot. I've changed the speed control. From that one, which is a 60 amp to 120 amp, it's double. It does handle it a hell of a lot better. It didn't break on me. Um, what broke on me, guys, is this. So, the, the, yeah, this thing fried. But I had a feeling it would be a bit small when I put it on there. Especially that one. Look at the black line. But I have some... Of what this is? No, I have better than that. That's 12. I've got 10. I've got some 10 gauge in there. So I will use some of that stuff and I will make up a new one of these connectors and then I'll whack 3 cell in it again because this thing was performing freaking awesome with 3 cell in there. I did fly down the road. Um, there is footage. I will try and put it in just after this. And um, yeah. Man, it was. I had a friend over recording for me, so we have some decent footage. Hopefully, well, do we do it? We don't. There's a couple, but I will put the footage in of this. Um, the first footage will be with this V control. We have two S first, then three S, and then I think I just come straight out with three S with this one. This one will handle more. This can take four S, but can the motor take that? Oof, I doubt it. But we need a bigger motor. We need a bigger motor. Or oh, we need two of them. Um, but if I get two, I need to find another gear. And I have no idea where I even found that one. So I think it's off some sort of starter motor or something. Because the, this is this is, um, oh, this is all the same chain. And this gear down here that drives the main sprocket is actually off of a motorbike starter motor. I believe. So... I don't know where this one's from. I've got to find another one and move these two outwards. Put a plate up the side or something if I can. And then mount two of them. Or the other result would be a big ass motor on here. 
So I might go look for a bigger motor and see how much they are in uh just leave it at that. But we all know I'm gonna make a new cable and go for another test run because this thing was quite fun. Um I have been looking for my speedo with no luck, I can't find it, so I'm trying to get a speed run for you. But I mean it's not proper sort of it would be top end but it wouldn't be duration I, this thing's not probably going to last too long but we can work on a separate battery unit once we have a decent motor system that actually works on it this gearbox seems to work quite well there is a little bit of play coming along between the gear this this one in the middle the big one and its shaft down there between the key you can see the rock yeah we can see that rock without the plod or anything so but I, it's almost like a bit of dampener takes up the brunt I don't know I don't know I'm just talking shit trying to make myself feel better about it but we could always put a wedge or something in there or a little skim or we'll figure it out but yeah keep your eyes peeled mate uh, guys um we will have the um the footage up of me on this in a moment so uh enjoy it's, it's not i wish there was more but there isn't all right we have a test ride of franken scooter number two speed control unit's been changed out Trying to get took out by a taxi in the exact same place again. Thanks, smoking mush. Nah. Smashed out your battery. Nah. <laughs> what was smoking? My connection cable, everything works. Oh. My connection cable needs to be thicker. It's handling 3S for it, it needs to be thicker. It's, uh, oh, god damn. Disconnect that. Uh, I made it up because I was only expecting a, a quick test. I wasn't expecting anything special. That might have been a problem, actually. I'm going to use the same ends and shit, and I will just make up a new cable. This is the one I made on the channel the other night, but I'll make up a new one. And so there we go, guys. You've got another video coming from Mr. Shitty Sham. They are quite warm because they've been trying to suck that much power through it. Oh, damn. Speaking of fucking work. cable People... everywhere. Man. Wow, that motor's hot. Yep, we need another motor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... We need a bigger motor. We need something that can handle the heat better. Um, oh, damn! It's... Either, like, two motors or a bigger one. There's a definite upgrade. But this thing... I had a lot of power behind me then. I had a lot of power. You I was flew, whipping down there, mate. My foot come off the deck and I thought I was going to fall off of it. I had to let off the throttle. This thing had a lot of power then. So as you uh, all kind of saw, that little cable of mine uh, burned out. So, but I, it worked. It really worked. But I, I, I've had to put a new one of these on, the T-pin connector. It burnt the old one out. Um, I could barely get the two ends apart. But here is the new cable, the new adapter. It is slightly thicker, like I said, this is 12, this is 10, 10 gauge. A lot thicker, well, not a lot, a little bit, but it should do it. So that will connect in, like so. And then we could put the free cell in there, but oh, I don't know whether to test it or not. Let's get that out of there, because I was going to cable tie this and it keeps falling off. I've only used sticky pads, so but I just use a bit of super glue. Let's see if it holds. <laughs> If not, I'll build a bracket and do all that and whatever else, but I have hiccups. I should, should have waited, but I carried on. But until uh, the new motor turns up, we are stuck with this one at the minute. 
Obviously, I'll be keeping the speed control unit for as long as I can until that probably burns out. But the, the new motor is wider, it's longer, it's bigger, it's better, it's 25,000 kV. So I went with a lower one for a bit more torque. Um, but yeah. Until next time, guys. Um, I am out of here. The next time will be a full test, though. But yeah, until next time, guys. Have fun. Like, subscribe, and please share, guys.